Why does Obi-Wan Kenobi give Luke Skywalker a lightsaber with no training? So this scene happens, well, somewhat early on in Star Wars A New Hope, when uh, Obi-Wan rescues Luke from the Sand People, the Tusken Raiders, and then they go back to Obi-Wan's hobble, and they chat for a little while, and then Obi-Wan's like, hey, this is your father's lightsaber, he'd want you to have it, and Luke's like, oh, that's really cool, thank you. I mean, you think about this sequence, and it makes very little sense to give somebody a lightsaber that's never seen lightsabers before, that doesn't really know how to handle them. I mean, even that opening scene when um, Luke just kind of turns on the lightsaber, that's very dangerous. I know people make fun of scenes like that, or they make fun of the idea of people getting like a real, you know, functional lightsaber in real life, and just how they would probably accidentally like, I don't know, destroy a desk or maybe hurt themselves. Uh, but if you think about this within the context of the Star Wars movies, that seems possible too, right? Um, it's kind of lucky in a way that Luke didn't hurt himself or accidentally, you know, break something. But that would kind of detract from the story, I guess. But what do you guys think about this? What do you think about Luke getting the lightsaber, the Graflex lightsaber, his father's lightsaber, without having any training or experience with lightsabers at all? And this happens again, right? I mean, this happens other times. It probably happens in other Star Wars media. It happens in The Force Awakens several times. Uh, both Finn and Rey receive the same lightsaber, in fact, without getting any training with it. And most notably, I mean, Finn ends up having the lightsaber as his only weapon, kind of charging into battle at one point in The Force Awakens. That seems a little strange. Um, well, same thing, Rey ends up kind of dueling with the lightsaber without training. And it's just, it's sort of an odd thing. I mean, it makes for a lot of drama. It makes for kind of a, a fun and interesting story, I guess. But we can trace the origins of this kind of... Um, I don't know, storyline back to A New Hope, back to the very first Star Wars film when Obi-Wan gives Luke the Graflex lightsaber with no training. Although he does end up getting a little bit of training on the Millennium Falcon, and then he, he goes and vis visits uh, Yoda a bit later. But at the beginning, he's just got something he doesn't really know how to use, and he's just carrying it around for a little while. So that's just a little food for thought right there.